In this video, we're going to take a look at how to read the musical grid for Soundtraps Beatmaker. This is important because throughout this course, we'll learn about a series of different rules, and part of those rules involve the correct placement of notes. Stay tuned. First off, create a new project in Soundtrap by clicking on Enter Studio. From here, we'll select Music, and we'll look at how to create a track. To create a new track, click on Add New Track, and select Drum and Beats. Using the mouse, we can create a region. You'll need to practice creating regions at a variety of different bars. Let's say we want to create a region at bar 10. We look for 10 up top and then create a region in that section by clicking. Pretty easy, right? You have to make sure that it's perfectly lined up. You want to make sure by zooming in that it is indeed right at the beginning of bar 10. If it's like this, then that's not quite right. You wanna make sure that it's right at the beginning. If we double click on the region, then the bottom pane, which is already open, will open up. So let's say it's closed like that. If we double click here, then it opens up this bottom pane. We can also access the bottom pane via this button over here on the track header. To access Beatmaker, we need to go to the Patterns tab. Since we created our region in bar 10, we have to scroll to find bar 10 in the Patterns pane. Then we can create notes here. Technically, there's another way to create a region as well. Let's click in a note at bar nine. It automatically creates a region for us there as well. If we want to delete a region, we can simply click on it and press the backspace or the delete key. In Beatmaker, each bar has 16 slots. The first concept that we need to talk about is a beat. A beat is four slots long. This is beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. We also have very specific names for each of the subbeats. The first gets the name of the beat, so one. The second we call E, the third is AND, represented by the plus symbol. The fourth is A. For the second beat, we have two E and A, then, 3E e and A, uh, and then 4E e and A. Uh. Your task is to memorize all of the positions that a note can be placed into. For example, part of the quiz might be to place a note in bar 10 at beat 3E. So here's beat 3. 3E e is right here. How about 4A? Uh? So it's 4E e and A. Uh. How about two and? I'll give you some time to figure this out yourself. Okay, so we have two, E, and. So if you said right here, good job. I think you're getting the hang of this. Let's try placing notes in bar nine, beat two and. So here's two, E and right there. And you notice that it creates a region for us up top. So that's all there is to it. I hope you learned a lot today about where to place notes in the Beatmaker grid. Stay tuned for the next video.